Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Spring Data JPA. Our viewer is trying to use a custom converter for an ID field in their entity, but they're running into some issues. Let's dive into the details and see if we can help them out. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. Let's begin by understanding the issue with your at convert annotation on the at ID field. You have defined an ID converter that converts a long to a big decimal and vice versa. The ID Converter class implements the Attribute Converter interface, which is crucial for converting the data types between your entity and the database. Here's the code for the converter. Now, since your database column type is numeric, the converter is correctly mapping the long type to big decimal. However, if you're facing issues, it could be due to the way the repository is set up. Ensure that your entity class is correctly annotated and that the database schema matches your entity definition. Check for any discrepancies in the database column type. Lastly, if everything seems correct, consider checking your Spring Data JPA configuration and any potential issues with the database connection. This could also affect how the converter operates. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Eclipse Link 2.76, a user faced an issue with the at convert annotation on an at ID field. They resolved it by using an embedded ID class. The ID class includes a field with the at convert annotation, specifying a custom converter for the attribute. The custom converter implements the attribute converter interface, defining methods to convert between the entity attribute and the database column. Finally, the user defined an enumeration for the attribute values. They also tried using Eclipse Link's converter annotations, but did not succeed. And that's it guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.